I am the first person in the world to do all five of these stunts. But before we get into it, do not try this at home. I'm a professional. Stunt number one was flipping off of this rooftop all the way to this electrical box. This particular stunt took place in Vancouver, Canada. So two years prior to this stunt, I traveled out to Canada to compete in an international parkour competition. And before I did the competition, I had a free day where I went out and traveled around the city looking for parkour spots with my friends. And we came across this spot where I wanted to do this challenge. As soon as I saw it, I knew that one day I was going to flip this gap, but I didn't want to risk getting injured before my competition and I had an early flight home the day after the competition so I wasn't able to do it the first time I saw it. The next year I came back out again and competed. I really wanted to do it but during the competition I had some tendonitis in my knee flare up and therefore I wasn't able to do it again. But year three I came back to compete again and I did really well in the competition and on top of that I didn't get injured so I was finally gonna have my chance. So on top of being very sore from the competition I also had to get up at like 6 in the morning in order to do it before my flight home. The total distance between the roof and the electrical box was about 15 feet and I don't remember exactly how high off the ground it was but it was high enough to get very injured if I messed up. But to do this as safe as possible I made sure to practice a bunch of flips at the same exact distance by measuring it out right before I went and then practicing it on flat ground. On top of that I've also just done a ton of different side flips where I have to land on very small small things and travel very far distances. When I was finally warmed up and ready to do this challenge, there was probably only about 15 minutes before I had to leave for my flight or I'd be late. I remember specifically when I was trying this challenge that when I backed up for my run up, I took all the run up I possibly could take. Like I backed up as far as possible to get a ton of speed for this. And when I finally committed to actually doing the challenge on my very first try, I hit it perfect exactly how I wanted to. And although this made all of my friends and me both extremely happy. I had a flight to get to so I left pretty quickly after doing this. Stunt number two is being the first person to climb down the outside of this parking garage from the top. At this point when I wanted to do this challenge I was about 11 years deep into training parkour so needless to say I had a lot of experience in climbing up and down a lot of different structures but even with all those years of experience it still took me six months of dedicated training specifically in order to do this parking garage. The reason for that is because the layout of the architecture of this building is in a way where it's extremely technical in order to climb down this. Sometimes buildings are perfectly catered for doing parkour descents where when you drop down there's not only something for your feet to land on but you can also grab some sort of wire to make it even safer. But this one that I wanted to climb down was just a wall which means you have to perfectly hit your feet on the ledge and immediately drop down into a position we call cat grab. So for months I practiced that technique on just the bottom floor and eventually I worked my way up to where I practiced a ton from just the second floor. After months of doing it from the second floor I realized that this specific parking garage kind of curves up at an angle where the farther you move down the higher up you are on the second floor. So instead of just going straight from the second floor to the third floor I actually just scooted my way over until I was pretty much at the same height as being three stories up. And after six months of dedicated practice I finally finally was ready to commit to it. When I finally committed to doing this challenge and I was working my way down, I was extremely focused the entire way down and when I got to the bottom, I was so extremely excited. Excited both because I worked really hard to achieve this goal, but also because I was done with this challenge and I don't ever plan on doing it again. Trick number three was not only a flip I've never seen anyone else do before, but I've also never seen anyone do it since. The goal was to do this trick where you vault over a wall and do a backflip while moving forward over that wall, but to stop my rotation halfway through so that I could actually catch myself on my hands and roll out of it. I practiced this trick a whole bunch in the gym first, both with and without mats. I decided I wanted to take this trick outside for the first time ever during a trip to Colorado for a parkour event. Parkour athletes from all over the United States would gather together and camp together for a whole week, which led to a lot 
lot of really fun bonding moments. Not all of these moments included parkour activities. A lot of times it was just doing random fun activities that everyone could be a part of no matter what your skill level was. And a lot of crazy parkour athletes would come to this event and therefore every year when you came, you would expect to see some pretty crazy tricks. And on top of that, the entire event was based around raising funds in order to give to a charity to help people with breast cancer. The way that I warmed up before committing to this trick was by vaulting over a wall and then practicing where I jump up and do this crazy looking roll out of it. When I finally committed to doing the flip, I did it so well that I was able to do another flip right after and make it a combo. Stunt number four took place in Los Angeles, California. The stunt was to vault over all three of these walls in one move. The reason that I was out in California was actually competing on American Ninja Warrior and then the day after I went to do this stunt. Now this isn't the first time that this vault has been done. I have actually done several of these in a few different locations, but this is the first time that'll be done at this location. And on top of that, it's by far the biggest one that I've ever done. I made sure to progress into this as safe as possible by vaulting over just the first two walls and landing in like this alleyway area first. Then after that, I committed to actually landing with my feet on that third wall. And finally, after doing all the prerequisites that I can think of, I committed to it and got it on my very first try. I had a lot of fun doing this stunt and I remember me and my friends being pretty excited after I finally had done it. Exactly one year after doing stunt number four, I did stunt number five. Stunt number five was swinging up onto a bar and doing a double flip off that bar. This stunt took place on Santa Monica Beach, once again in Los Angeles, California. And competing on Ninja Warrior was, again, the reason that I was in California. Before traveling to California, I knew there was a perfect bar on the beach that I could finally land this trick outside. I practiced this trick for months at my gym back at South Carolina before traveling to California because I knew that they had the perfect bar to do this trick on. But what I I didn't realize at the time is that bar back home that I practiced on was a good bit higher than the bar that was on the beach. So when I finally started committing to doing them on the outside bar, I wasn't landing them and I just kept under rotating on a bunch of different tries because I just didn't quite have the amount of power I needed. But thankfully I didn't let that stop me and I just kept trying to swing bigger and put more and more power in each and I finally did land one. I had been dreaming of landing this trick for months, so as you can imagine, it made me really happy. These five stunts aren't the only world's first tricks that I've done, so here are a few honorable mentions. Click this link here if you guys want to support me and buy some of the new merch that I just came out with. And to all of you that are subscribed, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. To any of you that aren't subscribed, what's up with that? And finally, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, ow.